Well, things are looking rather interesting for Spider-Man. We know that the film is going to go in production in early summer. We don't have an exact date, but we understand that right now they're trying to get everything together. The script is being finished and soon they're going to be confirming who they're hiring and who exactly the villains of the film are going to be. Now, while all that's happening, currently there is a few hiring processes there are happening where they're going after producers, set designers and things like that. And today we have learned a major hire that has actually occurred for this film. So what has happened is that John Watts, the director of the upcoming Spider-Man 2, has hired Matthew Lloyd. Now Matthew Lloyd and him actually have worked together before on his movie Cop Car. Now that's not the only thing. Matthew Lloyd was actually responsible for the first 12 episodes of Daredevil's first season. And he's also credited as the director of photography for The Defenders, along with being included in the reshoots for Thor Ragnarok. So quite literally, this dude has been around Marvel from aspects of TV to now a big budget movie. And by the look of it, this could probably be our first indicator that they're going to go more, I would say, brutal with how Spider-Man is being handled in the sequel. Now, why I say that is like essentially just think about that. If they're hiring this dude who's delivered some pretty brutal fights in what we've seen in the MCU so far, you don't think they're not going to focus on that, right? You think they're going to have to play that up and use some of that hard-hitting action. And of course, in Thor Ragnarok, if you watch the ending, there's some pretty awesome hand fighting and everything like that. So I'm hoping that maybe they are going to include that and this is what we're getting in there. Now, there's nothing to say that that's guaranteed, but I definitely think that is going to be an aspect of it and something that they play up, which I'm really excited about. And this continues Disney's trend of hiring people and having them work on, I guess you could say, quote unquote, lower tier things, and then promoting them up the line, up until they can take over and start doing something more involved, which I'm really excited about because they're always building in-home talent. Well, let me know how you guys feel about this and does it get you any more excited for the upcoming Spider-Man sequel.